Ian Foster with Center Cam here. Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on virtual webcams and also lighting considerations specifically for Mac users. So why is this an issue? Well, the PC users of Skype, Zoom, Teams, whatever, there are more built-in lighting control settings in the PC world than there are in the Mac world. So if you compare it to Skype or Zoom, PC to Mac, PC users have more capability to control their setting, their light settings just within the software itself. Mac users are a little bit more limited. So that's where virtual webcams come in. How it works, it's pretty simple. If you look at the Zoom menu, you have the different webcam options here. One is FaceTime. So that's my Apple MacBook, which is down here. That's the feed from that. Nice little shot of up my nose. It's great. We've been on those video calls. And then we have center cam. Now, if you'll notice center cam says FHD camera, we didn't make it into our manufacturer's uh, software change for our name. It is what it is. FHD camera, that's center cam. So we choose that, um, but we also, check it out down here, you see eyeglasses, so you have to open up eyeglasses and then it leads to an option. Now this is a virtual webcam. What eyeglasses does, when you select it, you go over here and then you select the camera. And what that's doing is it's putting eyeglasses lighting options in between the natural source of your camera and you know, your, your Zoom or, or Skype setting. So we're gonna choose center cam right here. And then that allows us to actually control our settings. So adjustments, brightness, we want angelic visitation, we want a little bit darker, you know, whatever our situation is. Um, temperature, I'm in broad daylight, but if I was at regular temperature, it's a little bit wider than I wanna be. So I want that room to appear just a little bit warmer. Um, saturation, you know, if I want to be like black and white, that looks pretty dope. It looks like an 80s music video. Um, or I can be cartoon, whatever. It also has a cool setting for focus. Now, center cam, you have the option, you can do manual focus on her lens, just righty tighty, lefty loosey. Slight adjustments, you can soften the or sharpen the focus. On our lens just manually but also through eyeglasses you have this and again we don't have any affiliation with eyeglasses they're just a great program that works with center cam so moving on to lighting the reason this is an issue is that to dial in settings there's a million different configurations that people have and so automatically expecting center cam or any webcam to automatically optimize every single situation is you know I think that's expecting a little bit too much of a camera. Every camera has to deal, has to make a choice how it's dealing with light or darkness, which is lack of light. And so um, Apple FaceTime cameras, they have erred on, on the side of broad daylight. They perform pretty well in broad daylight, but they perform pretty poorly in, uh, in cave settings, like places that are poorly lit and they're very pixelated. Um, we chose a little bit more towards the uh, office setting, like indoor environment. And so our camera is going to show up a little bit brighter in, in like really hot daylight, like bright daylight conditions. Um, I'm sitting right next to a window, but it's not direct light right now. So that's how I'm overcoming that. But center cam performs much better in, um, in darker conditions. So that was the choice that we made. It's kind of, if you look at it as, as kind of, kind of a sliding scale, we, erred more towards the side of um, performing better in indoor environments. Um, so some opportunities. Now that you know that, um, center cam in bright light isn't going to perform. It's going to be a little bit wider. You can overcome that through eyeglasses. If that isn't an option for you, then um, one potential option is you know changing where your workstation is. Um, you know, if you know that you're going to have broad daylight, every camera is going to have trouble with that at three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, then potentially that's an option, either blinds, change the workstation. Um, now on the opposite side of that scenario is the cave situation. So if you have white light, um, most webcams are going to 
not deal well with that either. It's going to make you look like this. That's what white light does. So it naturally makes you a little bit colder, um, makes your room a little bit colder. So we would recommend um, soft bulbs, so soft yellow bulbs. Um, and that's a way you can deal with lighting uh, and maximize your center cam's capabilities. Um, another thing that eyeglasses has, um, so we're currently working on virtual webcam uh, proprietary virtual webcam for our center cam users that'll be free for our users um, until then this is the solution and um, it'll be a little bit simpler eyeglasses has uh, space alien capabilities and and chipmunk capabilities and you know how I feel about my wife capabilities um, I'm not sure you know, I don't know that I would ever use this. And so, um, and we want to make sure and get that version out as quickly as possible. So I apologize to all of our users that would love to have um, love struck effect, um, but we probably won't have this. Um, where it's going to be a pretty simple interface. And that is how to maximize lighting settings on a Mac and how to use virtual webcams.